Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. Today we're going to be talking about the new news in regards to its movie, and that's going to be coming out very, very soon, so I'm super excited to break it down and talk about it with you. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment so you don't miss any DCEU Supergirl videos anytime in the future. Okay, so as you guys know, recently we did cover when Supergirl was recently cast for the Flash film. She's being played by Sasha Kelly. Really, really excited to see her version of Supergirl because I really rooted for the idea of Supergirl coming to the DCEU for a long time. I want a Supergirl film. And I accepted a long time ago that Melissa probably wasn't going to be Supergirl in the films. However, there is still a chance that she cameos either in the Flash film, more likely the Supergirl film. And so we'll get to that later in the video because we've addressed Melissa showing up a couple of times but we knew it was basically impossible that she would actually be the main star. So that's one of the reasons why I'm really happy to get someone so different, because I don't want someone who is like Melissa as Supergirl. I want a different Supergirl, and I'm super excited to be getting a Latina Supergirl. She may even have brown hair, there is a possibility. However, she may dye her hair blonde. We will have to wait and see, but I really like the fan art with her with brown hair like she normally has, but also there is some cool fan art with her with blonde hair. We've got a couple new fan arts to go over in this video because I wanted to show some of them off because they're really cool and I know you guys enjoyed that recently when I covered some of the new fan art for Sasha Kale Supergirl. But basically to sum up that thought, I'm super excited that it's going to be someone different from Melissa. It's going to be a Latina Supergirl. I think that's really, really exciting. And we got some more exciting news just a couple of days ago because, yes, sad news for the DCEU. They aren't going ahead with two new projects, that being James Wan's The Trench film, which is a spin-off of Aquaman, and also Ava DuVernay's New Gods. They were both cancelled the other day, so that's sad news for those projects, and I was really looking forward to New Gods because they could have incorporated Darkseid again. We obviously just saw Darkseid in the Snyder Cut. However, you know what's exciting? In this article, buried at the bottom, is confirmation of the 2022 to 2023 schedule for DC. Okay, so Black Adam is dated July 29th, 2022, currently as of right now, and Shazam Fury of the Gods, aka Shazam 2, is coming out June 2nd, 2023, as well as, and get this, Blue Beetle, which shoots later this year, this was just announced recently, super excited for that project, I love Blue Beetle, he's one of my favourite DC heroes, along with Batgirl, which we've heard literally nothing about recently, Green Lantern Corps, which is going to be another spin-off of the HBO Max Green Lantern series, which is coming pretty soon, Static Shock, which was recently announced, and finally, Supergirl was confirmed to be on the 2022 to 2023 schedule. So we have a rough day for what is happening there. Also, they just announced a Zatanna film, the third Wonder Woman film, and a new Superman film. We know those are coming as well, but those don't have dates as of right now. But Supergirl is in that 2022 to 23 schedule. So this is the confirmation that we've been waiting for. And this comes from a very reputable source, that being The Hollywood Reporter, who reported this. They are very, very, very reliable when it comes to reporting news to do with films. And so, yeah, Supergirl is slated to come out 2022 to 23. We don't have a director attached as right now. But a couple years ago, they did announce that a Supergirl project was in the works, but like the Batgirl film, we haven't heard anything about it. However, with films like Blue Beetle actually shooting later this year, something completely new, never shown up in the DCEU before, this is very promising news for Supergirl and Batgirl, because we haven't heard much recently, but it's great to get confirmation that Supergirl is coming out, and obviously this comes after it was announced that Sasha Kale was cast as Supergirl in the DCEU, she will be showing up in the Flash film, which is slated to come out sometime in 2022, which is super exciting. So that's where we're going to get our first official look at her. They are shooting that film very soon, so I'm hoping for some behind-the-scenes photos to get a look at her costume and what she's going to be looking like as Supergirl. So I personally can't wait. And after that announcement, I was like, surely they're going to make a Supergirl film right after the Flash comes out, because people are going to be hyped when that Flash film comes out, which is supposed to be Flashpoint. So we will see all these different versions of our heroes and what happens if this version of Supergirl is the official version and it's going to be teasing her own film. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be very well received this film, so people are really anticipating it and I can't wait to see Supergirl for the first time in the films. 
obviously since the original Supergirl film way back in the 80s I believe. So are you guys excited? Let me know down in the comments below. However, let's move on to the next thing that I want to talk about. I'm going to pull up on the screen right here. We got three new fan arts. And this is where we're going to get into our Melissa Benoist talk as well. And also Grant Gustin and the Flash film. So the first piece of fan art comes from Arrowverse Canaries. And you can see Melissa and Grant as Supergirl and the Flash at the bottom. And then you've got the DCEU's Flash and Supergirl. That being Ezra Miller's Flash and Sasha Calais Supergirl. So we went over this Supergirl fan art a while ago. I'll leave the link in the description below to that video. However, this is super exciting because you get to see the two versions of these characters showing up in the same poster. Obviously, it's just fan art, but it is really, really exciting. And so, talking about Grant Gustin first. So, you guys know in Crisis on Infinite Earths, on the Flash TV show, and in the Arrowverse, Ezra Miller actually showed up in the crossover, which was absolutely nuts. No one expected it, and so basically the Arrowverse is officially canon with the DCEU. It's just on another Earth, essentially, because... They've been teasing recently the DCEU is doing multiverse, so that means that they're going to be having lots of different versions of Earth, and that means that it's very much so possible to cross over with the TV shows. And so with him crossing over, we are suspecting that Grant is going to show up in the Flash film at some point. I'm not sure if he's going to be there for the actual shoot stuff, because they're going to be filming a large portion in London, and Grant is currently still in Vancouver, and he will be in Vancouver for most of the year, shooting season 7's ending and also shooting season 8 because they are going into production on that in the summer. So he's going to be around but he's going to be in Vancouver and so I believe he's going to come for pickup shoots of The Flash. So I think it's just going to be a cameo kind of like what Ezra did on The Flash but I really strongly believe that Grant is going to show up at some point. And so this sets a precedent for Supergirl in the Supergirl film because we've established that the Arrowverse and the DCEU is connected and apparently, The Flash gets his name in the DCEU because he meets Barry from the TV show. Now, that is very interesting. And let's just quickly move over to Melissa. So, yes, Melissa is stepping away from Supergirl this year. Supergirl Season 6 is going to be the final season. So, she's not going to be Supergirl from now on. However, that doesn't rule out the possibility of a cameo in the Supergirl film. And now, the Supergirl film won't film for at least over a year probably longer than that so i'm suspecting they're gonna wait until the flash film comes out if she's well received that's when they're going to be preparing to shoot the supergirl film and i really do think that they're gonna let melissa come in for like a small little cameo kind of like what i think grant's gonna do because she is the precedent for what they're gonna do with supergirl like she is the reason that supergirl is so popular right now and I think it's really down to the TV show's success that DC's even considering introducing Supergirl and doing an actual film on her. So I really hope this crossover eventually happens. But anyway, let's move on to the next piece of fan art. I think this is really cool. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the artist who actually made this. This is a cool variation on some of the Supergirl suits we've seen in fan arts recently. But I really like this because it looks kind of like the Man of Steel suit as you can see. Henry Cavill's Superman is in the background, but it looks like they've toned out the colors so it's a bit brighter and I really just like the aesthetic of the suit. And I believe the actual body is influenced by a Supergirl poster. I've seen a Supergirl poster that is very similar to this, so I'm presuming that the suit has been amped up and has been redesigned by the designer. And I just thought it was really cool and I should share it in a video with you guys because all of these fan arts tease us how she could potentially look suited up in a Supergirl suit doesn't mean it's going to look like this or it's going to look like any of the other ones that we've seen in fan arts. However, it's very cool. And I'm rooting for something that is like a cross between the Man of Steel suit in the DCEU and Supergirl's suit on the TV show because I really, really like the TV show one. It's one of my favorite comic book costumes right now. And so I think it would be a shame if they do it so different because I think the main problem with Ezra Miller's Flash is his suit. Like his suit doesn't look very good. It kind of looks a bit like a tin can at points. Sorry, no offense. I did like him in the Snyder Cut. However, his suit isn't very good. He definitely needs an upgrade. So I really hope they do Sasha Calais Supergirl service in terms of creating a very cool suit like the TV show. Let's move on to the final fan art that we're going to be showing off. This one is right here. Looks really cool. This is a variation 
on the Man of Steel poster, I believe. Again, link in the description below to the artist who did this. It's a really cool poster, very much so looks like the Man of Steel poster, and it gives us another little insight about how she could potentially look. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I really, really like covering the Supergirl film and I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more content to talk about in the very near future because the Flash film is filming very soon and I'm presuming she's gonna have like a decent part. It hasn't been confirmed if she's gonna be playing like a major part, but I'm presuming she's gonna be showing up for at least a little chunk of the film. It's definitely gonna be more than a cameo because they made such a big deal out of it and it's definitely setting up her own solo film which is coming sometime between 2022 and 23. I'm going to say it's more likely to come out in 2023 and I don't think they're going to film it very soon. However, with Blue Beetle coming out, with them just announcing it and saying we're going to be filming this like in a few months, that's kind of crazy to me. So I think once they get the script locked down, they have a director, they have their main cast. You're gonna start hearing more and more about this. Obviously they need to film and complete shooting on the Flash film before they do that because Sasha's gonna be on the Flash set. However, for now, I think they are definitely very far into development on the film. So be on the lookout for news and obviously we're gonna cover it all on my channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any Supergirl videos. We do daily content on the TV show, also we cover the Flash TV show, Superman and Lois, and we cover Supergirl and the Flash in the DCEU as well, so that's kind of our main coverage. So if you like that stuff, please be sure to stay active on my channel. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.